The two photographs featured in this presentation are very perplexing, not unlike all the others we've seen in the past. Let's have a look at the anomalies and I want to find out what you guys and girls think of my hypothesis that we might be looking at some type of moisture, maybe even liquid that is seeped up to the surface and run down the sandbanks. These two photographs were acquired on the 14th of October 2022 on Sol 3622. Yes, the first photograph acquired by the Chemistry and Camera or ChemCam and we'll be zooming in on that dark patch. I guess you guys can already see it, it sticks out like a sore finger. So let's zoom in on that spot and take a closer look. It looks like this area of here of the sand dune or sand bank is moist. Check this out. It looks like liquid, possibly water, maybe even seeped up through the rocks and uh, ran down the side over there as well. Or could this just be dust or sand that has moved, revealing a darker material underneath? Yes, the second photograph also acquired by the Chem Cam. And we'll be zooming in on that spot located right there. And those dark patches are also visible over here. It looks very reminiscent of moisture liquid or water that has run down the side of the sandbank over here. A healthy dose of speculation here. Are we looking at possible fungi like button mushrooms that are growing in this area? It isn't far from the patch where we see that possible liquid running down the side of the sandbanks. Are we looking at possible living creatures here that are getting their moisture through water seeping up into the sand? They look like they're slightly suspended off the surface. Check that one out specifically. Could there be a stem underneath that we can't see in this top-down view. And there again we're looking at what looks like fungus or mushrooms or like I've speculated before, could these be fossilized shells? I'd love to hear your opinion regarding these dark streaks. Could this be water? running down the sides of the sandbanks or is it just dust or sand that is moved down like a mini avalanche revealing this dark material underneath. Due to time constraints I don't have enough time to respond to all your comments but I do read them and I value them very highly. Thank you to each and every one of you that comments on my videos together we're forming a picture of what might be going on and, or what might have happened on Mars in the distant past. There's so many mysteries and so many loose pieces that it's really difficult not being there to know what actually is going on. So once again I appreciate your comments. Thank you for your continued viewership and support. Take care everybody, I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye for now.